second, and I'll just start this, and then I'll have to work on this next week. But the second reason why Romanism is fault and false and anti-Christian is, and I had to tape this in here. This is really a special prize I have, and I always tape it in my notes and take it back out. It's because of their doctrine of Mary. And I have an official rosary card here given by Patrick J. Hayes, Archbishop of New York City. I just want to read this to you. This is not put out by, by apologists or evangelicals. Or, this is what you would get if you'd go in a Catholic church and get on your knee and, you know, and they hand you one. I want to read it to you. I want to read it to you in light of the Bible. It's really hard to even read. The 15 promises of Mary to Christians who recite the rosary. I can't read all of them, but I'll just read number two is, this is Mary. I promise my special protection and the greatest graces to all those who shall recite the rosary. Now let me, I mean, again, I want to be as reverent as possible and polite because I really admire Mary. She's probably one of the most godly women that ever walked on this planet. I think that Protestants are afraid of her. And I'm looking forward to, you know, when I get an appropriate passage in the gospel to really preach to you about the most magnificent woman that walked on this planet among the most magnificent, Mary. But Mary is not omniscient. I'll tell you what, she doesn't know I'm talking about her right now. And I can pray through all the beads in the world I want. She cannot protect me. She is not omnipotent. She is not omnipresent. She is not here listening to my prayers. Only God is omniscient. Only God is omnipotent. Only God is omnipresent. That is part of his eternal nature. Don't ascribe the attributes of God to a sinful woman. You say, wait a minute. I thought she didn't sin. That's part of the myth. She was as much a sinner as you and me are. She had to be saved by the same grace of God that we have to be. 